Hello, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, today, we are going to be trying out the Realism Overhaul, which basically means we're launching from the real Earth, from Florida, and uh, we're going to be trying to get into space. Um, I'm just setting my goal in this episode as an orbit, because, well, I haven't been able to do that yet. Um, in fact, I've only had one successful launch yet. Uh... But yes, the world scaled up, we have Ferrum Aerospace, basically every mod that could make your life hard has been put into this. Um, well we're gonna go ahead and be launching here in roughly T minus 15 seconds. 15 seconds now. Uh, this is the Orbiter 1, uh, because hopefully it's gonna get us into orbit. Uh, the engine has ignited, and we are launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off of the Orbiter 1. Alright. Um, well, nice, uh, very slow lift off. Um, get a view coming up from the floor. Uh, not the floor, uh, the ground. Let's go ahead and go into actual view. Because I'm going to be trying to fly this, uh, not take pretty pictures. Uh, but as you can see, it's the same space center, though it's over a different textured green patch. And we're in Florida. It's the actual Earth. Uh, the moon's in uh, an inclination. Uh, far greater than its real inclination, because uh, it's accounting for the curvature... Not the curvature. Uh, the actual inclination of the Earth is axis. Um, which you can't actually model in the game uh, yet. Or I hope they implement something like that, because that can make things very interesting. Uh, but let's make sure not to overheat this engine, and we're going to be jettisoning the solid rocket boosters soon. Alright, dumping those. Uh, everything seems to have gone okay. Let's go ahead and pitch over to 10 degrees now that we've hit 10,000 meters, which is when you'd usually be doing your full uh, gravity turn. But, uh, because this is the real solar system, uh, we have a lot further to go. Tanks, or at least I think this is a feature, is that you have to settle the fuel. Oh, coming up here on the second stage. But you have to settle the fuel to be able to ignite them in zero G. Um, I don't think that's installed in, pro in properly either, because there's nothing that tells me it's mixed. But, we've run out, jettisoned and firing the next stage. Um, I did put thrust limiters on this because uh, with Ferrum Aerospace things tend to rip apart. Now uh, we're, uh, we're about to hit the old Kerbin uh, where the atmosphere would end, but uh, because of the new uh, real atmosphere we have to get our apolapsis up to about uh, 130. I think I said that earlier. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it takes a lot more to get to orbit. Um, yes, I'm going to start burning up more because our set rate is coming down to like 10 meters per second. That's not very much. Okay, we need this to get to 130. Oh, boy. I might start taking thrust limiter off of this. Just want to make sure we're not hurting anyone. We're currently doing about 1G acceleration. Uh, where is it? I moved everything. Yeah, we're just over one thrust to weight ratio. Alright, 114. Oh, okay, only about 15 more kilometers, 16 more kilometers to go. Alright, we're doing alright. Uh, I said earlier I'm not sure if the fuel would become mixed or whatever. Uh, I think I actually saw what I need to install. It's pressurized, it's an added option, uh, and I think I need that. But just in case, I've added separatrons, which I will fire, and then uh, they'll accelerate, pushing all the fuel to the bottom of the tank and then allowing me to ignite the engine. Uh, though, like I just said, I'm not sure I'm going to need those. This is probably not very promising, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go through with it anyway. I mean, if anything, we can go ahead and test uh, re-entry. Alright, so 140... Okay, we really don't want to be ascending that much, though. It's 
Oh, the half left is coming right up on us pretty fast. So this is what happens when you don't have a very good flight uh, profile. Okay, it's going away. We don't want that. We want to stay at about 12 seconds. Okay, good. Going to 44. Um, well, it's looking less elliptical and more circular. I mean, that's pretty good. Why is the water pink there? I don't know. I just, I hope that we can get to Europe, honestly. I think that's Spain. Uh, there is a problem where the, the actual lights, city lights, I'm going to have to go remove them because they're not actually, we ran out of fuel. Oh, boy. Well, I just goofed up. Uh, let's go ahead and test re-entry. Why not? All right, aligning. Okay, let's go ahead and time accelerate. Uh, yes, the city, what was that? Uh, the city lights are still lined up for old Kerbin. Uh, in the old Kerbin continent, so they don't quite line up where land actually is. Uh, but right now, let's focus on trying not to die uh, during our re-entry. The weather's looking uh, stormy. We're just on the edge of a storm. Good. Alright, where you've descended. I assume we're still going to start uh, getting re-entry heat about here. Oh my god, we're still at 70 kilometers. Oh my gosh. That, that rocket. I, I just kind of thought that well, a uh, KSP, let's just make a rocket that would be uh, moon capable. And then no, so I thought about, uh, why not one that's capable of going to Duna? Uh, but no, that's not good enough either. Oh wow, this is heating up. Oh boy. Uh, oh, something blew up. That was the thing we did. It's down there. Okay, I just want to make sure that the shielding doesn't go away. Uh, oh boy, we are pulling the limit of G's. Okay, we're safe. We're safe and they're not dead. Uh, the shielding is holding good. Oh, okay, we reached G, G limit, but they are alive. Probably would have passed out. Um, but let's go ahead. Not deploy a parachute because we're still going like mock something. All right. Arm parachute. Good. And we still have 14 kilometers to go. Uh, we're going to have a nice splashdown in the middle of the ocean. Uh, Atlantic, way out in the middle of nowhere, where we would be stuck. Uh, I think they usually land in the Pacific. Um, but yeah, uh, we would have no navy here, and things probably wouldn't go that well. Let's go ahead and decouple our... Uh, apparently that didn't work. I tried to decouple the heat shield, though. They tend to have a lot of drag and not fall. Okay, so we're about 2,000 meters. I can see... Are we landing on land, or am I just seeing things? <laughs> There's nothing here! We shouldn't be hitting land. Oh, our parachute's open. There goes our little debris. Uh, this really doesn't deserve the name Orbiter 1, does it? <laughs> it didn't go very well. That is huge parachutes. Much more realistic looking. Why is the ocean floor so close? Hmm. I guess... Yeah, there's a shallow spot right in the middle of the Pacific. Oh. Oh, God, that scared me. Um... Yes, we've landed. Uh, not, not the best mission. Uh, <coughs> we can go ahead and try to fly again. Uh, I don't know what I can do to make a rocket that would work. Uh, I've been Ganathy. This has been Realism Overhaul. Thanks for watching.